Can Red Dead Redemption 2 live up to the first game? Well, let's get into it. Out of one, so I've got a bunch of details when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2, and if you know me from Twitter or anything, you know for a fact I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. So, let's get into it. Red Dead Redemption 2 is entirely playable in first person mode, much like GTA 5. There's a customizable hood. Each character will have different sets of clothes to coincide with weather conditions. Like the first game, you will have a range of choices and decisions that will affect your honor meter. When hunting, you can sell carcasses or take them to the butchers for meat. If you leave it too long, it'll rot. That's pretty cool actually. Your camp will not wait for you. Members will come and go as they please and you'll have to find them. Weapons and Gunplay You can physically see all the weapons on Arthur's character model, but you can only hold two sidearms and two long weapons at any given time, also a knife, a lasso and throwables such as grenades and molotovs. Gun customization, such as engravings will be a thing. Deadeye now has five levels. Level 1 allows for slowdown, level 2 allows for you to paint targets and unleash a barrage of shots and level 3 allows you to manually pick your shooting points etc. It's possible to shoot weapons out of an enemy's hand. I love it when games let you do that. Arthur details. Beard grows over time but you can shave. Clothing customization is a thing. You can also lay your clothes this time around rather than just have you know different sets. You'll get hungry over time, but you can also get fat if you eat too much, affecting stamina. Stats like stamina can be raised by doing physical activities, such as many different RPGs. The horse. The whistle command button can be held down and Arthur will whistle until the horse runs out of breath. You can name your horse, you can clean your horse, <laughs> and the very last detail is something I, I don't even know why Rockstar even bothered doing this. <laughs> horse testicles shrink depending on the in-game weather. <laughs> well then, I think that's a detail nobody needed to know. But. GTA Online will go into beta in November. Now that was kind of disappointing to hear at first, but if you really think about it, last time with Grand Theft Auto V, that was possibly one of the worst online launches for a game I've ever experienced. And let's face it, this game does not need that. A lot of people are looking forward to this, and personally... I think it's going to be a really good game. All the screenshots that's coming out, all of it just looks absolutely fantastic. Now, there isn't long left in the month, and we went to see another trailer this month. So, given what Rockstar's like, they can literally drop a trailer at any point. And until then, I just want to say if you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. Share it on social media, hit that bell for notifications, and yeah, follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description down below, and yeah, I'm out. Hope everyone has a good day.